owe me TV? Why are you supposed to be at work? <laughs> what in the f Yo, are you Spanish? I live in the US, but yes. Well, I mean, come on. <laughs> come on, that's not, that wasn't the question. Americanized Hispanic. Oh, so you're white. I'm <laughs> um, both been my whitewashed. are Hispanic. But yes, I am whitewashed. Do you speak Spanish at least? I do. What type of Spanish are you? Peruvian. Both parents? Mm-hmm. Oh, shit. Y'all got some good-ass food. Not gonna lie. Yes. Yo, Peruvian food hits, like, the little plantains and shit. Hey, Scruffy! Hey there, bud! Good to see ya! Scruffy. What's... Scruffy. Wow. Yeah, is that... That's not your dog's name? No. No, it's not. Oh. What's your dog's okay. name? You live in L.A.? No, 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 no. I just, uh, just moved away. It's dangerous out there. Okay. Have you ever been? Yes. Like, yeah, the P, like, you, it's like, everybody just wants to, like, I don't know, worship the devil out there and stuff, so I had to leave. Really? I live in the country now, yeah. I protect, I had to protect my soul. Oh, not something I really knew. Hmm. You, you visited? My brother used to live out there, and so I've been a couple times. Why did he leave? Well... He is still there. Well, I don't know what part he lives in now. I haven't visited him in a while, but, um, gosh, I feel like, yeah, he still lives there right now. He works for Facebook. Oh my God, that's so ironic. I work for Google. Holy fucking shit. <laughs> He's my rival. I'm going to murder your brother. Okay. <laughs> I'm going gonna, gonna to fucking kill him. I'm so serious. That's okay. You yeah. guys both have solid jobs. You really don't need any... Yeah. How old are you? 29. No fucking way. No fucking way. Are you 29? Nah. Older. 31. Just, just 30. Just 30. Oh, sorry. I called you too old. 29? Holy shit. You do not look 29. I know. You look, uh, I, was, I mean, shit. Goddamn. <laughs> Like 20, 22, I mean, maybe, it depends. It depends. Well, it depends. Do you have like a body of a 17 year old? No, I, mean, or do you I don't have, know what that really means. Or do you have the body of a 29 year old? I don't know what that means. Like, okay, well, <laughs> it means like, like, you know, like you're not developed versus developed. 17 year olds are developed. I mean, I can tell. Like, I feel like I can tell. Okay. I have a good. I imagine I'm like a 29 year old because I'm 29. Yo, let me see your what's your what's your outfit of the day and shit. <laughs> I'm literally wearing a workout shirt and okay. shorts. Oh, did you and work? A dog. You are wearing the dog. Did you did you work out today? I cycled just for like 20 minutes. Who was uh who was in the background? What music was playing? What music was playing? No, I was talking on the phone with my friend. Oh shit! Actually, low key, that's like the best way to fucking get distracted from actually working out. Like, talk to somebody, yeah, and then actually, you just go through we it. We do this pretty often. We talk on our way home from work, and we motivate each other to get workout clothes on, and then we go work out. And then if she goes on a run, that means we don't talk very much because, like, she she ends up hanging up, and I put on music. But she is my motivation, my best friend. Damn! Thank goodness. <laughs> So wait, where do you live? Uh, New Orleans, Louisiana. Oh shit, you're gonna fucking drown. Or die, yeah. Yeah, them levees, man, that shit, that shit ain't no joke. Yeah. Were you there during Katrina? No, I only moved here like two, two and a half years ago, three years ago, sorry. Oh shit. Three and a half years you're ago. On your, you're on your hot girl shit. You're on your Mardi Gras, like go wild type shit, I can tell. <laughs> I no, can... I'm like the stay at home type. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, me too. Me I'll too. Go to, I'll go to some of them, but I'm not. I'm not a crazy girl. Interesting. I just can't do it anymore. So listen, I don't usually do this or whatever, but like you're like cute as hell. Like honestly, like when I come in, come down to New Orleans, yeah, it's like it's like fake. We should hang out. Oh, I am a married chick. Are you married? Like, yeah. how long have you been married? Oh, shit. 
a uh, year, two years, two years. Oh, so when you moved down. Yeah, we were engaged when we moved down and then uh, got married like a year in. Who's, uh, that was like mutual, like a mutual choice for y'all to move down there? Mm-hmm. Well, okay. So I got into residency and he was Talk like, to. I'm going to come, I'm going to come in. I'm going to come too. And then he got into school here. And so he's still in school and I finished residency. What kind of doctor are you? I'm a dentist, pediatric dentist. Dentist. Interesting. So like, okay. So here's like dead ass serious question on a scale of one to 10, the average person, like how good are their teeth? Scale of one to 10. I only see kids teeth. Oh, that doesn't help. So it's a little bit harder of a question. How are the kids? But if I had to say, like, are you saying like our age group or kids or? Well, like, I wanted to know like the average person, but like, I mean, you only deal with kids, so I'm guessing you only know. Yeah, I mean, I dealt I dealt with everyone for like a year, but I didn't like that. So, um, okay, average, good tea, like really nice tea. Probably like less than twenty percent of people have really nice teeth. Mm. What's your like? What like? So, because obviously you're born with the teeth you're born with, and you can get braces and shit. But like, even after braces, like, I feel like some people want to fucking look good. Say that again. You cut out. Like even with braces, like I feel like some people's teeth just aren't meant to look good. Like no matter what. Yeah. No. Some people. No. I agree. Do you recommend veneers? They have big teeth. They have small teeth. Or yeah, it's not good. God damn. So all right. And well, then some people just don't take care of their teeth. So yeah, no. This uh, somebody I know was literally like they had to convince their boyfriend to brush their teeth. I was like, That's you, so gross. you had to convince someone to brush their fucking teeth. <laughs> fucking insane, bro. You probably like. Why are you into them? I'm like, that's gross. How do you kiss them? I don't get it. Yeah, they didn't. They didn't last that long. Is what it Good. Is. I'm glad. So look, yeah, I mean, listen, I know you're married and everything. So like, I'm gonna, if you're happily married, I'm gonna obviously leave you alone. Like, I'm not gonna interfere with that. But like, I feel like it's even better for us to be friends anyway. Okay. Do you have a? Uh, you have Instagram? I do. Type it in. I add you. On me TV right now. Join the live. But I am happily married. If that ever changes, I mean, shit, you know, I'll come visit. <laughs> so where are you living now? You said you moved away. You said you go to the countryside, yeah. but... North Carolina. Oh, that's so nice. It's a beautiful little place. It's a, it's, I'm, well, I live in the city, but I escape to the country often. Okay. So yeah. what's your closest airport? Uh, GSO. Can you can you say that without the initials? <laughs> Greensboro Airport, but Charlotte okay. Charlotte's probably the one you know. So Charlotte is usually yeah. Okay, there we go. Charlotte. We're on the same page again. Yeah, Charlotte. Uh, that's instant Daphne. I'm Chris, by the way. Hi, Chris. You do not look like a Daphne at all. You you have been whitewashed. I want you to know you've been completely whitewashed. Yeah, my sister's name is Andrea or Andrea. And then my brother's name is Rodrigo or Rod Rodrigo. <laughs> so, and then I got Daphne. <laughs> you got Daphne. Did you ever ask? Yeah. Are you the oldest? I'm the youngest, so that's why. Oh, they were like, okay, they got into the American culture. They're like, actually? Yeah, no. And I mean, like, they, they were like, oh, make sure you marry an American man. Marry an American man. I was like. I'm in America. <laughs> yeah, they're they're all American. The the, ch the chances of me <laughs> they just didn't want me to go for another Hispanic. Really? Did you ever? Why? Yeah. Like why? I don't know. You don't know. I think they wanted to mix up the genes. My brother ended up with a Chinese woman. That's kind of lit. That's kind of lit. Yeah. Damn. I know. I was like, hmm. we we're, we're pretty diverse in our family now. So. How far are you from? Um, from like Mardi Gras and all that. Is it like driving distance from you? Oh, like five minutes. Oh, you're that close. So can you hear it from like where you live? Like, is it annoying or? Sir, uh, so thankfully my street isn't a parade route or else that would be really, really hard to navigate. Um, 
but I am. I pro- I probably wouldn't walk. Right. But it is walking distance technically, like within a mile. Huh. I bet. Well, if I ever come to Mardi Gras, I'm gonna need I'm gonna need the rundown, like what to do, where to go. Sounds like a plan. All right, bet. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So here's the thing, Chad. I'm gonna tell you something. She's a married woman, but 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 here's the thing. Niggas be slipping up every day. That's what I'm talking about, bro. Yo, what's with all the bro? What you giggling about? This guy goes, "Can you show me your tongue or your feet?" And I go, "Ugh."